I'm Nightmare and welcome back to the test. We're in the second variation of this game called the, te the Test Hypothesis Rising. So we learned a lot of intimate details about me last time. So what kind of dirt and grime are you guys gonna get on me this time? So our secret word from the first game was called power and it said to remember that. So <clears throat> I've wrote it down on my handy dandy notebook down here and uh, maybe we'll get another one. So let's jump right into it here because the music is loud as balls. <clears throat> Before experiencing the test hypothesis rising, it is highly recommended that you play its prequel, The Test, first before venturing into this experience. Well, good thing we already did that. You will stand to gain a lot more from this experience if you play The Test first, and this examination will also make a bit more sense as it carries on from where the last examination left off. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I'm still getting notifications even though they're turned off. We're going to leave that in the stream so you guys know... How much of an idiot I am. <laughs> it just keeps going. Why? Oh my God. Hmm. Well, there's nothing I can do about that apparently. So we're just gonna roll with it. Baby. <laughs> Professional YouTuber guys. That's me. I don't know why it's going on. Oh well. <clears throat> I would like to urge you to go and play the test now before venturing forward and follow the instruction listed throughout the game, as you will certainly get a bigger benefit overall. Sorry guys, I'm trying to set my phone up so I can see it if somebody calls. Um, the instructions listed throughout the game, as you will certainly get a bigger benefit overall by taking the test in order they were meant to be taken in. Would you like to close this game now so you can have an opportunity to play the test first? You will not get a chance to exit the game until the experience is over if you choose to continue now. I've already played the test. Wonderful news, we can continue. The music is loud as balls. Ooh, fate. This is a new one. Still kind of bloody. Still kind of ominous back here except the, this uh used to have an arrow and now says help yeah this is different hello and welcome to my office it's truly a pleasure to see you here today please excuse the mess i haven't had a chance to clean up yet now i don't want to take up too much of your time with blibber blabber and nonsensical speak. So I'll just cut straight to the point. I just made that up as I went. <laughs> Sometimes we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. There's one question in particular I'd like to ask you to ask yourself. Are you happy? And when I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great, but it's not the same as being happy. I want to help you. Good, I need all the help I can get right now. And this music's making me depressed. <laughs> I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be. So the people back here were not the, <laughs> didn't achieve your goal and you've obviously slaughtered them, Mr. Fate. Mm. I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. I want to see you grow inside and out. Now, how do we accomplish this, you might be asking? Good question. Allow me to explain. I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you are going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty. Think about it. You do want to be happy, don't you? You wouldn't want to do something so as as bold as to tempt fate by lying, would you? Just remember, if you lie, the only person you're lying to is yourself. The only person who will suffer from this is you. And believe me, you will suffer. <laughs> 
Not to mention the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that we feel lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. But sometimes good people do bad things, and sometimes we don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express enough just how important it is to be truly honest while answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now, it's time to get into the real meat of this experience. It's time for you to get the advice that you deserve. As you read questions and scenarios during this process, I want you to create your own circumstances and build your own bridges to arrive at the answer that best suits your own psyche. If you've never experienced the scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine that you have and try to assume how you might feel in that situation. I'd like to invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax as we unfold your fate and the secret to overcoming the next hurdle in your life. I've got my coffee as usual. All right, I'm ready to be interrogated. We're going to start with some basic easy questions. Oh God, here comes the creep. If you answer these questions twice, your advice may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about many different variables. Ah, that's so loud. Many different factors are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer the proposed questions. With that being said, it's far more important to actually take your time and think about how honest of an answer you're giving before you give it. Whatever you do, do not rush the process. Time is your best friend here. You'll see what I mean soon enough. And here we go. All I can think of, all I can think of is the hydraulic press channel guy. And here we go. <laughs> do you feel uncomfortable right now? No. Are you nervous? No. Do you feel cold? Not really. Do you feel sad? Yes. Have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting, even though they didn't deserve it? Um, well, let me think. I'm sure I have. As, like we stated in the last video, I used to have anger issues. Like, I, I still do, but not as bad as I used to. Um, but I'm sure I have because I've said stuff out of anger that I didn't really mean to when I've been hurt, so I'm gonna say yes. Do you crave acceptance by others? Um, well, the circumstance that I'm getting in my head is like, for instance, being a streamer and YouTuber, yes, I do crave that acceptance to be able to make this into what every YouTuber wants to do and become a career path. So, yes. Have you ever lost a loved one? Yes. Do you know what heartbreak feels like? Absolutely. Do you believe in demons? Yes. Hmm. Do you believe in curses? No. Would you consider yourself to be spiritual? Even though I believe in God and the higher power and stuff like that, I don't really consider myself spiritual. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes, we've answered that before. If there was undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you, would you continue to live in your home? Yes. Have you ever seen an object mysteriously move without being touched? Yes. Do you believe that it is possible for a game to summon supernatural forces into your life without you knowing it? No. 
Would you like to make more friends? Yeah, sure. Everybody would, I think. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? I I answered this in the last test. Um, and I like to think that I am. Even though I honestly... The more and more I thought about that question, it kind of relayed over after I played the game. Do I consider myself to be a good friend? In many ways, yes. In some ways, no. I mean, I try to be there for anybody that needs me or my friends. I don't really have a lot of friends, so... I'm going to say yes, just because the friends that I do have, I've always tried to be there for them and do whatever I can to help them. So I'm going to say yes. Do you feel lonely? Yes. Talk to me. Talk to me. I am talking to you. Do you make friends easily? No. Do you tend to avoid drama where possible? Yes. Have you ever had a near death experience? Um, me personally, I don't think so. No, cause I have had a heart attack, but I don't know that it was like a near death experience. So no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you like horror movies? Yes. This is all very interesting. Have you played the test? Yes. That's the spirit. <laughs> Have you played the horoscope? No. Give it a whack. I'm not totally biased or anything. Let's write that down. Sorry guys. <laughs> Do you watch porn? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a hard worker? Absolutely. Do you have a low opinion of yourself? Hmm. Hmm. Would you consider yourself to be a confident person? Not really. Would you help an old lady cross the street even if you were running late for an appointment? Yes. Would you kill all of your neighbor's pets just to save one of your own? Well, the scenario that's coming into my head is if my Mika, which if you guys know me very well, my Mika is my baby, like my child. I love her more than anything, really. Um, so if my neighbor's pets were attacking Mika and I had to kill them to save her, yes, I would. So, yes. Have you ever tried to smother yourself with a pillow to see if you could actually suffocate yourself? No. Can't say that I have. Have you ever been caught dancing when you thought no one was watching? Yes. Have you ever tried to roll your eyes back so far just to see if they'd really get stuck? No. Have you ever played a practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? Yes. Are you streaming live right now? No, but I'm recording it. <laughs> yes. If I told you that I was watching you play this game right now, would you believe me? No. If you've left a comment for me at any point in time, I've read your words. Does that bother you? No. If you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I've paid attention to what you've taken the time to write? Yes. Do you understand that no matter what, I appreciate you? Well, you're a video game. You can't really appreciate me. And you're using the Nightmare in font, by the way. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have that copyrighted, but... <laughs> no, I'm going to say no. I really do. Are you afraid of snakes? Yes. 
Do you believe in magic? Do you believe in magic? No. Have you cried in the last month? Oh yeah, definitely. Do you have a hero? Um. Not really. I mean, I have people I look up to, but I don't really have a hero. Yes, you know, actually I do have a hero. My mom. That woman has been through more than anyone that I know and has continued to go through so much and still fight on and be determined to survive and live. And so, yes, I would have to say my mom is my hero. Do you typically learn from your mistakes? Yes. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? I do. Would you consider yourself to be lazy? No, I don't. Do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? Um, sometimes, yes. Especially doing YouTube, like, it's hard to get noticed and sometimes I don't feel that I'm good enough to be doing this or that I'm entertaining enough to be doing this. So, and it kind of takes a toll on my motivation. So, yeah. Do you put the needs of others before yourself? Oh yeah. Would your family and friends describe you as kind? I would think so, yes. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? No. No, I have not. Yes, I have. Would you consider yourself to be judgmental? No. I see. Are you a hero to someone else? Um... I would like to think no. But... I've had people come to work that I've helped. And if you're just watching this now, most people know I work on a 911 ambulance for my career currently. I've done it for years. And I've had someone come tell me that I was their hero, which is kind of humiliating and uncomfortable in a way because <clears throat> I'm just doing my job. But. I'm going to say yes, because I've had people tell me that. Do you love animals? Yes. Have you ever found a family member on Tinder and wanted to hit them with a super like just to make, sh <laughs> just <laughs> to make shit real awkward? No. Yeah, uh, me neither. Do you enjoy drinking alcohol? Um, I mean, yeah, when I can, um, I don't like all the time. Sure. No, I'm not actually. I want to be. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> do you like the free sneaky snake? I do actually. I say that a lot. Uh huh. Are these questions a bit strange to you? A little bit. Do you have a vivid imagination? I do. Do you feel uncomfortable in large social settings? Yes. Even though I don't mind them per se, I do feel uncomfortable. Would you consider yourself to be antisocial? Um, yeah, kinda. I mean, I, I kind of stay to myself, so, excuse me, coffee burp, but not necessarily antisocial. Um, yeah. Do you hold a grudge for long periods of time? No. Have you ever urinated in public? Um, sure I have out like fishing and stuff 
So yeah. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? I do actually. I knew I liked you. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be selfish? No. Do you think you've got a big ego? No. Would you consider yourself kinky? I answered this before, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Have you ever masturbated into a fishbowl? No. Can't say that I have. Well, then you can't be that kinky. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be re religious? No. Even though I've said before I believe in God and demons and stuff, I don't consider myself to be religious. Would you consider yourself to be temperamental? Um, yes. If you had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it, would you do it? Well, self-preservation would say yes. I would say yes because the self-preservation thing would kick in, I think. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of a scenario. Um, yeah, I think I would. Interesting. Would you sacrifice your own life for a complete stranger? Well, yeah. I mean, I was a firefighter, and then I went straight, just completely straight on to just being an EMS. So, and even an EMS, we risk our lives for people, so. <clears throat> even more interesting. Have you ever been inside a burning building? Yes. Have you ever been to a funeral? Yes. If you could attend your own funeral before you died, would you take the opportunity to do so? <sighs> I don't know that I would. Because I wouldn't want to see people upset and sad, you know? So I don't think that I would. No. If you could see into the future, but you were told that it would only reveal the absolute worst of what's in store for you, would you still look? No. If you had the power to stop time, would you use it to do something you know you shouldn't do? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I would. Because I can't think of anything that I would want to do with time being stopped. I'm going to say no. If you had the power to remove one person from the earth, never to return again, would you use it? Yes. If I told you that I understand you better than you understand yourself, would you believe me? No. If someone threatened to kill you, <clears throat> would your first response to be to react in violence? Not at first, no. If a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction, would you forgive them if they apologize to you? Um, yes. If a family member said something nasty about you behind your back, would you confront them directly about it or confront them about it directly? Yes, I would. If you had to eat raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive, would you do it? I guess so, yeah. If you had to wake up tomorrow and none of your family remembered who you were, would you choose to leave and start a new life? Well, I guess if none of my family remembered me, why would I stick around? Why would I want to be around the people I love that they don't even know who I am anymore? I mean, yeah, I could try to make them remember. No, I don't think I would leave. 
I would try to make them remember who I was. If a homeless man was clearly sick, freezing, and utterly miserable in the rain, would you be willing to give him your clothes and walk home naked? Yeah. I wouldn't give him my underwear, so I'd at least have something on, but yes. If you if someone accidentally hit your hit you in their car, but you suffered no injuries whatsoever, would you still be upset with them? Yes. Have you looked for any hidden meanings or messages with any questions? I forgot. No. Maybe you should have been. Maybe. Are you wondering if there's a deeper meaning to all of this other than just simply answering question after question? Kind of, yes. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? Yes. Umbrellas aren't worth lugging around and you don't mind getting rained on. Do you agree? Yes. Red is a prettier color than pink. Do you agree? Yes. Do you ever feel like a plastic blag, blag, bag blowing in the wind? Mm, not necessarily in that m metaphor. Sometimes I feel lost and hopeless, like just kind of going along, but I don't know that this metaphor necessarily fits that description um I don't think so but for some reason my gut instincts telling me yes just because my gut instincts saying yes I'm going to do that eating in front of people can be awkward do you agree um yes i do actually because i'm a big guy i honestly i don't eat a lot i really don't and i'm not sure totally why i'm heavy as i am because i'm not the most i'm not like lazy by no means and stuff and i don't eat a lot i'm just a heavy guy but yeah, I feel awkward when I eat in public, like, um, like people watching me and making fun of me because I am a bigger guy. Like say I go to McDonald's and have a cheeseburger. I feel very awkward if I dine in sometimes because I feel like people are making fun of me. So yeah, I guess so. Rings used as ceremonial wedding gifts are so outdated. Do you agree? No, I think there's a nice meaning to that. Did you realize that the first letter of the last six questions when combined spell out the word murder? I did not. <laughs> and why would you tell me that? <laughs> Somebody go back to the video and see if that's true. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. No. <laughs> Do you know why that is? I, I know. Does that make you slightly uncomfortable? No, honestly, not really. Are you going to start paying closer attention to what you may have gotten yourself into? No, probably not. Do you realize it's too lert, too lert, <laughs> too late to turn back now? No, I can just shut you. I'm here. I can just shut you off and be done. Do you hear someone in your room? No. No. Do you see the shadows closing in? No, it's pretty well lit in here. Do you feel like you're being watched? No. <laughs> I did, yes. Do you like long walks on the beach? Actually, I do. When I went to the Philippines, I liked walking on the beach. And it was... There weren't... weren't why is my English so bad when I'm recording? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Not really my English. I just can't word. Um, so when I was in the Philippines, I liked walking on the beach and there was not a lot of people there. So it was kind of like my own private beach in a way. So I got 
to walk a lot on the beach by myself and with my friend and um, with Ramel and it was a very nice time. I liked it a lot. So yes, I like beaches. Do you enjoy giving gifts to people when I can afford so to do so? Yes. Have you ever felt like giving up on life? Yes. Do you love your family more than you love yourself? Yes. Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? Um, yes. Do you think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the coronavirus? No. Do you believe that you are human? Yes. If you could turn invisible, but you can never be visible ever again, once you decided to use your power for the first time, would you ever use it? No. If you knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that they were doing it to feed their family, would you stop them? Yes, I would. And I would tr give them whatever money I had or take them to the store to buy them money, buy them money, buy them food. If you were stranded on a remote island with a stranger and you were both starving to death, but you found a secret stash of food that they didn't know about, would you share with them? Yes. If you could turn into an eagle for one year, but you wouldn't be able to turn back into a person until that one year had passed, would you do it? No, but I kind of talked about this in the last test video. If I could do it for like a couple hours or a day or something, I might consider that, but I wouldn't for a year, no. If you had the opportunity to earn riches beyond your wildest dreams by fighting a grizzly bear to the death, using nothing but a shed, machete and an army helmet, would you do it? Hmm. Depends. Because if I could stab the bear in the right spot with the machete, and the machete's kind of long... I'm really thinking about this. Um, and I could potentially use the army helmet as like a shield. You know, I could, yes, I think I would. If you had to pick one basic food item to eat exclusively for an entire year, would you choose potatoes? Yes, I would, because there is actually a diet that's based off of like potatoes only, and I think you could survive off potatoes, so yes. If pizza <laughs> screamed in agony every time you bit into a piece, would you still continue to eat pizza? <laughs> yes. If your best friend got bit in the genitals by a highly venomous snake and the only way to save their life was to suck the venom out of their genitals, would you do it to save them? Yes. Was that question difficult to answer? Not really, no. Because if I it was just to save them, save their life, I would. Do you feel mortal? Yes. Do you enjoy loud music? Yes. Do you feel awkward when you dance in front of others? Yes. Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? Yes. Do you ever feel depressed? Yes. You're not alone. Thank you. Do you feel relaxed right now? Yes. <clears throat> Do you think you have a guardian angel watching over you? Um, if I do, I'm sure they're up there like this, like, <laughs> but um, I don't think so. Do you ever hear your name being called when no one called it? Yes. I'm going to take a special note on that one. Do you always look both ways before crossing the road? Yes. Do you wash your hands every day? Yes. Do you feel uncomfortable using public restrooms? Yes. Is winter your favorite season? No. 
Do you know anyone named Josh? Yes, I know several Joshes. Are you wondering why that last question is relevant? Yes. Are you allergic to any animals? Not that I'm aware of. Have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? No. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be artistic? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be dominant in day-to-day -day life? Hmm. Mm. I think so, yeah. Do you feel that you've got too much time on your hands? No. I don't have enough time. Can you easily be intimidated by others? Um, in the situation that I'm thinking in my head, I would say yes. Because, like, if I'm around like really good looking people like that's intimidating to me because I myself feel horribly ugly so that intimidates me but like I guess since that's the scenario that popped in my head I'd have to say yes but I don't get intimidated very easily by just somebody like threatening me per se or so um, I'm not really sure how to answer this I'll say yes are you easily excitable? Not really. Not really, no, I don't think so. Do you enjoy solving complex problems? Uh, some, yeah. Do you have a difficult time relaxing? Really, yes. The only time I really relax is when I'm doing this. So I'm gonna say yes. Would you consider yourself to be high maintenance? No. Do you trust easily? No. Would you consider yourself to be an honest person? Yes. Have you ever told a lie? I have. Everybody's told a lie. Have you ever lied to your best friend? No. Have you ever lied to your family? Yes. Have you lied about any answers during this session? Not to my knowledge, no. Are you wondering why all these questions have to do with lying? Um, yeah, kinda. This is all very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? I try to be. Do you enjoy being the center of attention? Um, I. This is a question from the other t test as well. I mean, doing YouTube and streaming, you kind of are the center of attention, and I enjoy that. But as far as like in day to day, no. But I'm going to say yes because that feels like the right answer to this. Do you feel like you've got a good sense of humor? Yes. Do you frighten easily? <laughs> kind of, yes. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. That's probably a pretty good place for us to stop the simple segment of our questionnaire and move on to the more gritty questions. This next set of questions will not be yes or no answers. The next portion of this session will be filled with various scenarios that put you smack dab in the middle of vital choice making. We'll see how well you handle your options as you delve deep into each scenario. Remember, the key to all of this is to answer honestly. Let's get started. You're home alone, it's dark, and it's storming outside. All of a sudden, there's a knock on your bedroom door, and that is so loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. Uh, let's see.
Oh, that's better. Someone's in your house. What do you do? Grab the closest item that can be used as a weapon. Ignore no the knocking and hope it goes away. Ask who is it and wait. Boldly open the door and reveal what's on the other side. Hmm. I would say ask who is it and wait. Very interesting choice. You meet a homeless woman on the street. She asks you for money. You find it within yourself to give her all the spell spare change you have. Just as you do, a homeless man approaches asking if you can spare some change. What do you do? Tell the man you've got no change left to offer. Tell the homeless woman to share with the man. Tell the homeless man to ask the woman for some of the, her change. Tell the homeless man that you'll get some more from somewhere. Well, hmm. If I gave all the spare change I had to the woman first, and then a homeless man approached me and asked me for the same, I've usually got spare change in my car, so I would probably go get some from my car. Really now. Both you and your mother fall incredibly ill to a life-threatening disease, and there's only enough medicine to facilitate or, and facilities to save one of your parents, and time is of the essence. What do you do? Um, give medical treatment to my father so he lives, to my mother so she lives, split the medication between the two, even though they both may die. Um... I would split the medication. That doesn't surprise me. You find a case of money tucked away inside of a dumpster. Inside, there's 10 solid gold bars and a vial of mysterious liquid. Under the vial, there's a note that says, The cure for cancer. What do you do? Turn the case into a professional entity so that they can utilize it. Keep the gold bars, but give away the cure to cancer. Keep the cure for cancer, but give away the gold bars. Keep everything in the case for yourself to sell or use. Well, so I find this case that has these 10 gold bars and a vial of liquid that says the cure for cancer. I believe I would turn in all of those because if they're all together, maybe the gold is a link to the cure and the professional entity can figure that out. So, yeah, that's what I would do. What a wasted opportunity. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't judge. You're stuck alone inside of your house, and you're starving to death. You've completely run out of food, and no one is coming to save you for weeks. The only potential source of food around you is your family pets. What do you do? Uh, kill and eat my pets so I can survive. Continue to starve along with my pets. Attempt to cut meat from one of my pets and then treat their wounds. Let my pe peets, <laughs> let my pets eat me so they can continue to survive until help arrives. I would just continue to starve along with my pets. Why am I not surprised? Your neighbor's home is on fire. A blazing inferno among smoke emits from the windows. You hear screams for help coming from within, but you can't see past the flames. No one else is around in sight. What do you do? Call the fire department to keep my distance from the home. Start shouting for help and searching for someone nearby. Run in a burning home. Try to save anyone you can. Walk away. There's nothing you can do. Well, being that I was a firefighter, I would end my job. I would aimlessly and blindly run into the home like an idiot to try and rescue them. That's what I would do. I like that. <laughs> you're fast asleep in your bed when you're awoken by what sounds like a woman's muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from under your bed. What do you do? Immediately look under the bed, hide under your covers and wait patiently. Verbally call out and ask who's in your room. Jump out of the bed and run out of the room immediately. Well, <clears throat> hmm. I usually leave my bedroom door open. So, 
in this scenario, I would jump out of the bed and run. <laughs> hmm. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're walking down the street. He pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you. He claims that when the watch stops ticking, it marks the moment your time on, runs out on this earth. What do you do? Take the watch and thank him for the gift. Decline the offer for the watch and keep walking. Tell him that he needs professional help and to keep his distance. Tell him you already got three of them as a toy in your Happy Mail. Um, hmm. I think I would decline the offer for the watch and keep walking. Would you now? I would. <laughs> You're sitting at home playing a game on your PC. When all of a sudden someone grips and squeezes your shoulder firmly from behind. What do you do? Immediately jump up and turn around. Scream and stay still in terror. Spin around with a vicious elbow to whoever's behind you. Tell them to squeeze harder. You could use a nice massage. I'm going with that. Ha. Ha. You're sitting in the bathtub trying to relax. When a hand emerges from the water, what do you do? Jump out of the bath and run as fast as you can. Kick the hand and try to keep it away from you. Give it a firm handshake, maybe even a solid fist bump. Push it underwater and hope that you get some free hand action. <laughs> well, I would jump out and run as fast as I could. Clever. You get out of bed and immediately fall down into a deep, dark hole. A man is standing above you looking down, telling you to put lotion on your skin while he watches. What do you do? Scream for help, start slathering yourself in lotion, tell him you've got very sensitive skin and allergies, ask him if he'll come down and help put, apply the lotion. Well, I would do that and then I would attack him. Smart choice. You're sitting at home alone and all of a sudden your door slams shut. You see it before your very eyes and know that no one is home and it couldn't have been a gust of wind. What do you do? Stay perfectly still and watch the door. Look for a weapon around the room immediately. Jump up and try to climb out the window. Run over to the door and open it. I would run over the door and open it. I like that. Someone you've known for many years but have no attraction to tells you that they have a massive crush on you for a long time. What do you do? Ask them out on a date. Who knows what might happen. Tell them that you're flattered, but just not interested. Tell that you feel. Tell them that you feel dating might ruin your friendship. Ask them if they want to be friends with benefits. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this one. Um. I may say ask them out on a date just because exactly who knows what might happen ah so you're one of those types what what type is that your dog starts randomly barking into the darkest corner of your living room there doesn't appear to be anything there but your dog insists on escalating to growls what do you do try to calm your dog down by petting them Stand and stare at the corner and see if anything moves. Walk up to the corner and extend your hand to feel for anything. Walk out of the room and ignore it entirely. I would walk up and extend my arm. I'm taking note of that. You are now. You see a massive spider in your room the size of your hand. What do you do? Grab something bigger to smash it. Well, I guess we're moving now. Burn the entire, <laughs> entire house down is the only way to be safe. Try to capture it alive for science. Well. Um, I would probably try to kill it. Because a spider that big, I've got a big ass hand. <laughs> That's a big fucking spider. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Ha. Your closest family member tells you that they're a serial killer. What do you do? Tell them you don't want to know any more details. Turn them into the authorities. 
ask them information so you can help them stay out of trouble. Try and convince them that they need help. Um, well? Hmm. I would probably turn them in. But it lies between these two, but I would turn them in. Because they should not be, uh left to roam, I guess, if they're a serial killer, so I see. If you found out that you only had one day left to live, what do you do? Tell everyone that I love them and to be happy, not sad. Do something insane and crazy, anything goes. Not tell anyone at all, just act as if nothing changed. Spend my time on my own away from others. I would not tell anyone and I would act as if nothing changed. All right then, if one of your pets started speaking to you and told you that they've got a dire warning, that they were going to die if you didn't let them eat all the ice cream in the freezer, what would you do? Go lay down, I'm obviously too high for this. <laughs> give them all the ice cream they can handle. Don't give them ice cream, you're not gonna fall for that one. Assure them that you'll protect them and they won't die. Well, I would give Mika all the ice cream she can handle, I guess. Oh, lovely. If all of a sudden you could start hearing other people's thoughts and the person next to you was thinking about mugging you and stealing your money, what would you do? Take pre preemptive action and beat them up first. Tell them you don't think mugging them is a good idea or mugging you is a good idea. Get away from them as quickly as possible. Ignore it. You don't know that you aren't just hallucinating. I would tell them I don't think mugging me is a good idea. That sounds reasonable. Your best friend comes to you and tells you that they just accidentally killed someone and they don't want to go to prison. What do you do? Help them hide the body, report them to the authorities, tell them that, that they're on their own, but you won't rat them out. Try to convince them to turn yourself in. I would initially try to convince them to turn yourself in, and if they didn't, I would then report them to authorities. Aww. You're dying in your car and you accidentally... Oh, I read that wrong. It looked like dying at first. You're driving in your car and you accidentally run someone over. You're pretty sure that they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that it's probably just wishful thinking. What do you do? You're pretty sure that they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that it's probably just wishful thinking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not okay if their head's detached. Um, I would turn myself into the authorities. Out of all these. Call your best friend and tell them that you don't want to go to prison. Turn yourself in. Drive away and hope nobody saw what you did. Try to hide the body yourself. I'm watching you. Interesting how that played out. I think it's time we move on to the next portion of our test. The following questions shall be asked of you, would you rather style questions. Imagine that you've got a gun to your head and you absolutely must choose an answer. No matter how uncomfortable that may be. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, I'm so excited. Would you rather be loved by all or feared by all? Loved by all. Would you rather never get angry or never get jealous? Hmm. Never get... Oh, shit. I meant never, but I fucked that one up, I think. No, I think never get angry. Yeah. Because I hate that part of me, so... Would you rather be held in high regard by your parents or by your friends? Um... Probably my friends. Would you rather live in space or live under the sea in space? Would you rather donate your body to science or donate your organs to people who need them? To people who need them. Would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do or get away with something horrible you did but always live in fear of being caught? Go to jail for five years. Would you rather work at a horrible job that you hate but retire comfortably in 10 years from now. 
Or would you rather have the your dream job, but work until you, the day you die? I'd rather have my dream job. Would you rather, would you rather every shirt, huh? Would you rather every shirt you'll ever wear to be somewhat itchy or only be able to use one ply toilet paper? Uh, one ply toilet paper because you can fold it up. Would you rather have skin that changes colors depending on your mood or tattoos appear in your body that depict what you did yesterday? <laughs> I would just have dicks all over me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um... I think color changing skin would be cool, but I do love tattoos, but I'm going to go with color changing skin. Would you rather shit every time you orgasm or orgasm every time you see a dog? <laughs> well, they're both equally fucked up. Um, mm, that would be horrible. <laughs> that would be disgusting. Nobody would want you. <laughs> um, I'll take orgasm shits for 5,000, Alex. <laughs> if your partner switched bodies with one of your parents and the only way to get them to switch back was to have sex with one of them. Oh my God. Would you rather have sex with your partner in your parents' body or have sex with your parent in your partner's body. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Just answer the question. Um. It would have to be my sex with my partner in my parent's body. Yeah. Yeah. That one had no bad <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. I think we've answered enough of these types of questions, and I'm sure you would agree. Yep. We're going to end the test with a short series of final questions, giving simple answers. We'll get started now. Out of the following options, which number do you like the most? Um, 11. I don't know, 11 just jumps out at me. Out of the following options, which color resonates with you best at this exact moment? Um, black, just because that's the first thing that popped in my head. Out of the following options, which creature are you the least comfortable around? Uh, scorpions. I'm the least comfortable around scorpions. Out of the following options, which is your favorite? Vanilla. Easy. Out of the following options, which do you personally value the most? Um, family. Out of the following options, which could you most live without? Mm. Well, you need money to survive. But I'm going to say money because I wouldn't want to part with any of the other three. Out of the following options, which statement is the most accurate? I'm brave. I'm caring. I'm smart. I'm attractive. I'm caring. Out of the following options, which are you most afraid of? Um, dying alone. <coughs> Yeah. We're almost finished, but I've got just one final question for you. Have you ever punched a nun? <laughs> you really ought to try it sometime. It can really take the edge off. All right, we're done here. I'm through with you. I'm just going to calculate your results very carefully. I don't want to miss anything important. Trying my absolute hardest not to judge you right now. Trying to keep this as professional as possible. Aha, here we go. Based on what you've told me, I've come to a conclusion that this is what I personally believe would be in your best interest. To acknowledge, set in motion, and accomplish in order to climb the ladder to happiness in your life. 
First and foremost, I'd like to start with a blanket statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Something that is taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that has such an incredible, unique, irreplaceable value compared to my, or compared to any other thing on this earth. And that, my friends, is the value of time. We talked about this. Time is the most valuable form of currency you will ever hold in life. You can spend time on anyone doing anything for any reason. Now time can be spent, time can be wasted, and time can be taken away. But time can never be refunded, time can never be earned back, and more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank account with all the money you'll ever get to spend in life. Now imagine not knowing how much money is in your account. Imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really need and the cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you cannot afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time and we have no idea just how much or how little we truly have before our bank accounts run dry. And the fact that we get to decide and choose what we spend our time on just shows you how truly special it is when someone spends their time on you. So now that we understand the incredible value of time, I'd like to make a suggestion for you personally on how I think you'd be best spending your time in order to achieve what you need most at this current stage in your life. Let's see here. I agree with everything this game just said, by the way. Well now, you just might be one of the most pleasant souls to ever walk this earth. The problem is you're afraid of opening up and showing people the real you. And when I say the real you, I don't mean the you that your family and friends know. I mean the you that only someone you could trust with your deepest secrets would ever get to see. You see, you're actually a pretty amazing individual, but you think people are going to judge you way too harshly if they know you completely. And I just got chills. My advice to you would be to open up yourself up a bit more and actually show the deepest parts of you more freely. Even the parts of yourself that you may think people would find very unlikable. You'd be shocked just how many others are exactly like you, but you're never going to find out unless you take the time to open up to new souls. If you can master this little trait and feeling more comfortable opening up, then an entirely new world of opportunity will open up to you as well. I think you'll be very surprised just how much of a positive impact this can have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret word is reveal. Let's write that down. This too. This will come in handy. Ooh, that gave me chills. Again, this game creepily is on point. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it for in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we are currently working on. The same as last before, so I will leave the comment on their Steam page. <clears throat> Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you. And if you aren't yet, it, and if they aren't yet, it will make sense very soon. Trust me on that. One more thing. We greatly appreciate your feedback and support. We read every single review and comment left for us. We love the conspiracy theories behind the greater meaning of all this. And in the third and final installment of the test series, all will finally be revealed. But not a single person has been able to figure out what this entire experiment is all about yet. We look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings as it helps share what we do as we work on future projects to bring the most emotion out of you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for everything you do, thank you for playing, and thank you for contributing your secret words to our projects. If you wish to support us further, we would love it if you check us out and check, yeah, you guys should definitely check this out. After playing the test Final Revelation, the third game in the test trilogy, 
We also have the testing chamber, which is connected to the test trilogy in a very special and unique way. In the meantime, the advisor is another interesting experience we'd like to recommend. And it has a great emphasis on the player developer interaction where you, the player, gets to vote on how the story will be written in future episodes. Your opinions and decisions have a direct impact on the development process and storyline of the Advisor series, and we'd love to read your ideas, thoughts, and contributions. Again, thank you so much for supporting us in our journey. We truly cannot show our gratitude and appreciation enough for all that you do. We hope the rest of your day is filled with the joy and happiness that you deserve. Random Studios. Again, this is a very great game, honestly. Like, in its... I don't know how they do it, but they... Somehow they come... They've got some kind of thing that really... Hits the nail on the head by how you answer the questions about yourself. So that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I like it. I do like it. So... I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like. Check out my other videos. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, as well as Instagram and Twitter. Um, I stream a lot, so there's that. You can join me and have some fun with that. So, <laughs> so be nice to one another, fight zombies and not each other, and we'll meet in the next video. See you guys.